Picture this. You are at home, browsing on your phone, when suddenly, you step outside, only to find that every electronic device around you has gone dead. The cause, you don't know, could be a solar flare or a bomb from an invading nation. Either way, it was an EMP. An EMP or electromagnetic pulse attack can happen in different ways, but let's assume it's a high-altitude nuclear explosion or a powerful solar flare that caused a sudden surge of electromagnetic energy. Here's what could happen in the first six hours. The blast instantly fries electronics in its line of sight, power grids, transportation, communication systems, and personal devices. Chaos ensues with panic, looting, and limited emergency response. Hospitals struggle to keep patients alive without power. Food and water supplies dwindle, Looting and violence increase without communication or transportation within the first few hours. People will have to walk or bike long distances to find shelter, food, or water. But eventually, we will all huddle together in groups for protection, sharing resources and information to survive. But still, disease, exposure, and starvation will become major threats, and the unprepared may struggle to survive. Luckily, we have this 12 must of items that will help you survive an EMP disaster. Number 1. Faraday Bags There are things in this list that are vulnerable to EMPs, that is why we place this gear on top of everything. Faraday Bags can help protect electronic devices from damage caused by an EMP attack, making it possible to stay connected and informed in the aftermath of the disaster. You just have to place all of your electronic survival gear inside this bag to ensure that when an EMP attack happens, your phones, laptops, radios and lanterns won't be damaged. Number 2. Solar-powered lights and lanterns. Moving in a dark neighborhood due to a worldwide blackout is next to a nightmare. However, these items can provide light in the absence of electricity, making it possible to see and move around at night. Make sure you also bring battery packs for recharging your essential devices. Number 3. Hand-cranked emergency radios for communication. Without the news from TV and the internet due to the blackout, you will be unsure of how to face the unknown. However, hand-cranked radios can provide important updates on the situation and help you stay informed about rescue efforts or any government updates and announcements. Number 4. Portable Water Filtration Systems While chaos is ensuing, it can really be hard to get water supplies and groceries or trust that your water supply at home could still continue without electricity in your city. But if you have water filtration systems, they can help purify water from natural sources, like rivers, lakes or even mud holes, making them safe to drink. Number 5. Non-perishable food with a long shelf life. The recent pandemic taught us that your neighbors might be more selfish than you really think. Luckily, you are prepared. This type of foods can last for a long time without refrigeration or cooking, making it ideal for emergency situations. They come in different forms like biscuits, bars and even instant meals. Number 6. Survival Guides and Reference Materials. Knowledge is power and it will help you survive. However, if there is no internet, then you will be left wondering what to do in these situations. Good thing there are printed copies of survival information that you can rely on. If your family have these books in your hands, you'll always be a step ahead of the average people. They can provide a wide variety of helpful information about first aid, shelter building, and even hunting and growing your food in case you ran out of supplies. Number 7. First aid kits, medical supplies and personal hygiene items, this one is a no-brainer. They are a staple in survival and can help prevent infections and treat injuries in the event of an emergency. Number 8. Portable stoves and cooking equipment. Let's say that you have survived the first few hours of an EMP attack. When the chaos halts a bit, we're pretty sure that you and your family would start to wonder how to cook and eat. Well, with some portable stoves and cooking equipment, you will make it possible to cook food and purify water in a situation where electricity is unavailable. Number 9. Fire Starters The number one skill you have to know when it comes to survival. Good thing there are items that are made to help you start a fire. From ferro rods to tinder scrapers, these items are crucial for cooking food and staying warm, and fires can also be used to signal for help. Number 10. Multi-purpose tools like knives and hatchets. These items can be useful for cutting wood, building shelters, and other survival tasks that require cutting or chopping. Number 11. Self-defense weapons like pepper spray or guns, these items can be helpful in protecting yourself and your family from potential attackers in the aftermath of an EMP attack. 
Number 12. Mental and emotional support materials, such as books or games to pass the time and help you and your family stay calm. Surviving an EMP attack is a matter of preparedness. If you have the right gear, you can survive on your own and you can buy your family some time before the government can respond or send out supplies. If you like survival and outdoor gear content, make sure to subscribe and follow BattleBox on our social media channels. Until next time, always be prepared and stay vigilant.